I did not see my path leading me here. What was once an empty valley is now something much more. The Greenlander, Sand, chose well, and his second, Park. Well, I had my own thoughts about Park. He did not know our ways, our customs as well as others, but he was a fast learner. He put down his staff in favor of his fists and feet. A bold move, but he was more than capable. When the berserkers came knocking, he met them with the fury of the Sheik. I was impressed, to say the least, and I look forward to seeing him prove himself more. It was true that we were doing better today than the last day. That wouldn't be good enough, not to survive out here in the lands of the Sheik, with berserkers and kraals chosen and bandits. We'd need to be ready, ready to be tested by this world. We would prove our place here, that this was our land, that the dust, sand and the stars were as much ours as anyone else's. Life was always going to be a competition. But the rules were the same for us as anyone else. It would take might and will to make it. And damn it, we were determined. Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rykon here, and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Kinchi. We have ourselves a slithering worm of a dust bandit, this poor sot. Just uh, not having a good time, trying to retreat fast away from the sandpit. Now, the sandpit, we have some things to do here. I've done a little bit of organizing in between the two episodes. Uh, we've been constructing a number of things as well. We've been slowly getting things up and running here, but something that you'll notice is that our cats are getting lower and lower something that we're going to have to rectify as soon as possible and the way that we can do that is by producing once again and so with that we need to get our production back up and running we are going to be producing trader leathers once again they are easily the most efficient uh thing for us to make we can see that we're currently out of resources, it won't be like that for long. But the trade leathers only take us 8 hours to make and we actually get the same amount as making the mercenary leather armor. Originally I was making this because this was going to be good for us. Uh, but really right now we're trying to get those cats back up. We have a fair amount of leather stored here. We're actually going to be producing more of these animal skins. Where we start to lack is in the fabric department. We did use a fair bit of fabric to be able to get this up and running up the top here. Now we want to make sure that we are maximizing everyone here. Looks like we've got Obelum and Lo working away hard on this. Kitchy, I think might have been trying to help out and or trying to operate that machine there we're going to go ahead and take all of those off for now i do want foraging animals to be turned on but i don't think we have any animals to turn that back on that was a mistake on my behalf now if we do see any others i'll be sure to both get kitchy and firebone to help us out with those and <laughs> You're still, you're still trying to get away. I'm going to let that one get away. I think we're going to be okay with that. Uh, but as for Kiji, Kiji is still kind of in recovery mode. So I would be okay with Kiji just resting for now, honestly. I feel like that's going to be a lot better for you. And Firebone, we have you operating the iron refinery. We have Ruka doing that currently. So what we're going to do instead is we are going to get you to operate the stone one over here, the stone processor. We're going to keep all of these above that, but uh, means that we're going to start to get people working here. Now, obviously, Park. Park, we can utilize in terms of weapon crafting, but right now we don't have the ability to make any weapons, which is unfortunate but we can change that. So let's have a look and see where we want to get that thing up and running. It's probably going to be here, if anywhere. So let's just have a look at our crafting. Okay, so for us to be able to make Weaponsmith 2, we can see that it does consume power. So, oh, that's, uh, 
that is that's rough that's rough that is that's very very close you know what i think if we move that other barrel out the way i think we're going to be able to do that now there is the animal skins barrel i'm fine with it actually kind of going over there so what we're going to do is we're just going to take the animal skins out drop them on the ground and we are going to go and dismantle this yes please animal skins be gone all right we're going to give that a go again Okay, so with the second level weaponsmith being as large and in charge as it is, we are going to have to go ahead and place that over there. This does mean, of course, that we need to go and get our animal skins stored somewhere else. And we're going to be able to place that here just fine. Now, Hong, I want to make sure that you are actually wearing a backpack, uh, which you aren't currently. Hmm. Because we want Hong to be able to haul stuff about i think we should be okay we're gonna see if there's any issues with that at the moment as you can see sand is working so we're not having troubles grabbing materials which i'm happy with we are going to be down on iron plates for a little while really iron plates are going to be something that we are going to need to more than likely look at upgrading this although in saying that we've got eight here currently so that's not too bad the only other thing that i wanted to talk about in regards to our inner labor crew is Lo is going to be our main farmer. We have actually placed down a wheat farm here as well. Um, however, it hasn't been constructed yet. We are in need of some more wheat store. Now, Lo, if I could steal you for a moment, we actually do have some more wheat store. We have more than enough to be able to get that up and running. We just need another five. We started off pretty basic. But let's get low, still low away for a second, and just go into your inventory. Ah, you're holding on to all the electrical components. We'll go ahead and store those in there. We're not going to be able to get five, unfortunately, but we can get you started on that at the very least. And then maybe I can steal one of the others to go ahead and work on that. Because I don't know if the others are going to. Um, wow, we got a whole lot of raw meat in here. Ideally, we wouldn't be storing it there. We'd be storing it in the raw meat storage. Um, so I don't know why that's happening. I uh, also don't know why we're not able to do this. I'm beginning to think that the animal trough here might not be a great idea. We might just have to try and find another way to... Ha, Gary. Gary. Now, <laughs> to clarify what's happening here... Um, Gary, I knew Gary was being attacked, but I also knew that Gary was fast enough to get away from the, uh, the pup that was chasing it. He was being chased by a bone dog pup. However, it would seem that Gary didn't outrun that pup, even though he was going much faster than it at the time, and now he's currently dying, so we need to rectify that as fast as humanly possible. So, speaking of fast... Sand, you are fast. Park, you're also fast, and you have medical on you. So, buddy, go ahead and just start running here as fast as humanly possible. We're coming, Gary. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, buddy. We're going to get there in time. Are we going to get there in time, though? I'm pretty sure if it drops to 50, he's dead. So, it's kind of a race against the clock there. Although, Park being the fastest man alive, that is going to help. Um, this is also going to be reducing his athletics, so let's make sure that we go ahead and just swap things around like that so that he can go fast as he possibly can. Gary, hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. <laughs> if only, if only I was able to pay attention to multiple points throughout time. We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, Lo is doing some engineering, which actually leads me to believe that Lo is working on the field. Uh, no, not yet. That's okay, but Lo is going to be our primary farmer. Um, Sand wouldn't actually be a bad farmer as well. The Greenlanders have a bonus to farming, and as we can see, this, the cacti are looking pretty good. They're almost completely grown. Number of plants are 30. So what you want to do is have primarily one person that's going to be focusing on farming, or just a few. You don't want to have everyone helping out because it will reduce your chance of actually getting return. We're going to focus for now on Park though because this is kind of a race against the clock to see if he's going to be able to get to Gary in time because we don't want to lose Gary. Come on Park. And it is dangerous. It is dangerous sending runners just up and down here by themselves. Gary actually had um, Hobbs with him, but I'm going to run with the idea that Hobbs would run away from any potential danger. Um, the reason Hobbs was 
with Gary is that I actually sent the two of them back to Squin so that he could finish his research on the harpoon guns. That's something that we've done now, so we are going to want to try and get those up and running. So, Gary has been saved. Are we able to pick up this big sod? Yes, we can, because Park is a, is a big boy, and we can see the bone dog that did it. Just this tiny little pup was able to do it. What a son of a bitch. You know what, we could, we could take this thing out pretty quickly and get some meat at the same time. So let's go ahead and put Gary down. Park, how about you start to do what you do best? Roundhouse kick a dog in the face. Good damage, good damage. Oh, I just, the way that Park has turned out is kind of exactly how I wanted Sand to turn out, but I'm, st I'm just, I'm happy. I'm happy either way, you know? Um, we're gonna go ahead and put this backpack back on. We're gonna take that, that, that. All the things, we're not gonna put them in the backpack, because that's cool. Okay, he's just healing himself. How about you go ahead and pick on up Gary? So we do have Park on find and rescue, but I think we're just far enough away that he's not going to worry about rescuing him. So, what we need to do is fly on over back towards home. Go up the top and then place Gary into one of these beds. Uh, now we could place him into one of these down here, but uh, he's going to recover faster up the top. We'll just have to make sure that we pick him up afterwards. Yeah. Are these folks dead yet? Still unconscious. And we have one over here as well who's crippled uh, and, is, and is awake. He just, he can't, he can't move. I kind of feel sorry for him. <laughs> I kind of feel sorry for him because he can't really do anything. He can't, he can't stay, he can't go. He's got nothing. Uh, right, so back to the, this, this issue that we're having here. Let's see if we can rectify this. So if we go to our labor inner, um, who do we have on cooking right now? We don't have anyone cooking. Well, that, that's actually probably why this is happening. Uh, so both Kiji and Firebone, I'm going to be fine with having you guys be the cooks still. Uh, we're going to make that your top priority. Um, just underneath engineering because engineering is something that I would like everyone to get involved with so yeah that works out medics robotics and we'll also put you on engineering for now we don't actually have Kichi doing anything else currently at this stage but we we will we will um hang on actually firebone yeah let's change that we're gonna we're gonna change it so you're just working on the stone processor yeah that works that works Bonnie having a good time, has recovered, just being a general good dog. Yeah, a very good dog indeed. Um, I'm surprised we've got that as far along as we have. The iron plate production isn't bad, it's not terrible. Hey, look at that, output is full. So, with that being the case, let's go ahead and actually place some water storage down because water is gonna come very, very slowly here. So we wanna make sure that we're storing a whole heap of it at any one time. It's actually probably going to be under farming and or food. Let's see, farming. Water tank. Yes, okay. Uh, so, sometimes you'll see this happen, where you can't see what you're actually placing. If we just go out of the construction menu, go back into it, we should be able to see it just fine. So we'll go water tank again, and there we go. We can see what we're placing now. Um, so we could place it right at the back here, because this is where our farm is. Um, so I think that's not a terrible idea. Just store some extra water at the back. Yeah. I like it. Let's go with that. Uh, this is also going to take iron plates, I'm assuming. Yep, iron plates for everything. And it makes sense. I mean, a lot of things are made out of iron. Firebone's gone back to work. Kiji is... What are you doing at the moment, Kiji? You are going to bed. That's, that's okay. I think we could actually... You're engineering. Okay. I just want to get these, uh, cooked. So that we can actually have some food, because, well, we actually, in saying that, we do have food here right now, so that's okay. Park, have you made it back? Oh, you've nearly made it back. Good job, buddy. Good job. And because Gary is here, I'm going to be able to position and place everything around. So, good times for us. <laughs> it's going to be a very big boy in a not-so-big bed. Yeah, that, that, that works, right, Park? Yeah, that works. Look at him go. <laughs> Kedgy's jumping in bed as well. Okay, so with that, we can see everything that we've brought back with us. So I actually did have a fair bit of copper. Um, so we're going to go ahead and place that in there. And saying that, we're probably going to just 
<laughs> yeah, we're more than likely going to sell a whole heap of the copper. Because um, that's a way for us to stay above above the poverty line. Because right now we're, uh, we don't have a huge amount. But look at that though. Look at all those iron plates. We can't. There we go. Not bad. I expected it to be better than 16, but you know, still not bad. Food barrel. Let's go ahead and store those in there. We've even, look at this, we've even got some grog to sell. How about that? So we'll go to our general storage over here. Store that. We got one piece of fabric. Don't you know it? There we go. Okay, so the rest of the copper we're just going to keep in there for now because we're more than likely going to try and sell it. Um, how has that armor production been going? Did we actually get one done? I think we did. Let's have a look at our armor storage. None. Okay, sand. Do you... Are you you're not holding on to it? Okay, that's fine. Well, I guess not. We're still just working on this thing here. And so this is this is the closest we can get it to the wall. As you can see, the walls kind of slope. So, yeah, it's, it's working. It's working. And look at that. We're going to have this constructed as well. Brilliant. Uh, we just need some more wheat straw, which we're going to be able to use low for. So we'll just fast forward until that construction is complete. Brilliant. Um, so I know I was talking, or rather Sand was talking about being prepared and being ready and stuff like that at the start. We are not. Yeah, I know. Uh, something that we need to be doing. We'll get there. We'll get there, don't you worry. Uh, I think we're going to need one more piece at this stage. So Sand, can you actually just take it from here, I wonder? You can. Brilliant. Okay. We should be able to get you to, to assist in that construction. Thank you, buddy. And with that, it'll be up and running. So, low, we still have you on the stone mine, huh? That's fine, because something that you'll notice with the farming here is that it's something that doesn't need to happen all the time. We are going to make it a priority, and I think Lowe's going to be going to grab some water. So, hopefully, that water is going to get taken over here. We could also make that part of Lowe's priority to haul water to the tank. Hobbs. Don't you worry about it, buddy. You're fine. You're good. So Hobbs isn't actually doing anything at this stage. We will need to change that. Oh, look at that. Sand's getting back to work. Brilliant. Yeah, so I am assuming he had literally only just started that and hasn't had a chance to do anything else with that at this stage. Let's go ahead and pick these up if we can. Um, Hobbs, actually, I don't need you to do that. Sorry, buddy. This is more of a sand thing. As soon as he's close. And we'll just go ahead and place those away. Don't like him holding on to the iron plates like that. But because he's an engineer, he's got to do something with that sooner rather than later. Um, oops. That's me trying to get Park away from the door. So looking at our weaponsmith, level 2, we can make a whole heap of different weapons. I don't know if we want to start making them just yet, because we don't have too many iron plates to our name, so... Yeah, I'm not I'm not super set on that yet. Look at this though. I'm gonna be excited to see how many plants we have coming in. Um, next thing that we need to do here is have storage for them. So we probably could do with just having the storage in here, or we could run with it being next to the kitchen. You know what? I think it makes a little bit more sense for it to be inside. It's a little bit harder for enemies to just steal that way as well. So let's go ahead and place down a few of these things. Oh, you're a rather big barrel, aren't you? Okay, so our cacti and our wheat straw barrels are going to be sitting here. They're as close as we can get them together, and as close as we can have them to the wall at this stage. We can see everybody is running to get engaged with this, which um, I'm actually happy that that's the case. And outside, everyone seems to be pretty happy as well. We can see that uh, Rain, Orin, and Ziff are working together. I can imagine that Orin and Rain would get on a lot better than Orin and Ruka. <laughs> and over at this one here, we have no one currently. Yeah, we have no one there. Uh, and you know what? The reason that is, is that our copper output is actually full. So, what we are going to do... Gary, you have recovered enough, I'd say, at this point, buddy. Um, so we're going to need someone to go ahead and pick you up. We're going to take Kiji here. 
Kitchy, who is hopefully going to start cooking for us. Because uh, you're also feeling okay, Kitchy. Let's go ahead and pick up Gary. And we're going to go take Gary outside. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. Then, I promise, we're going to have a look at getting some harpoons here. Yeah, so you can see Harmu's just kind of chilling out for now. Um, hmm. You don't want to... You don't want to go outside, do you? There you go. Yes, he spots doing nothing at the moment as well. So, we're going to go ahead and put down. Put down, please. Thank you. Okay, and Kitchy is operating machine. Look at that. Cooking up a storm. Fantastic. As for Gary, buddy, we need you to go ahead and pick up pretty much all of our copper that we've mined so far. And we are going to sell that copper. Yep. A whole heap of it. So who do we want to take with you? We could take Hobbs again. I, 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 they're really not the best team to be doing this. And we are going to make sure that we have them running together at the same speed. <laughs> Which is not very fast. Because unfortunately poor Gary, is he, he's, he has slowed down a fair amount. You see the dog meat is keeping Hambu company. Alright, let's go see if we can make our way up towards the way station together. Um, you know what, we could actually send Park out as a bodyguard. He's He can't really do anything for us right now here, and he is one of our best fighters. Uh, Park, do you want to go outside here, bud? Okay, so I think we just need to kind of try and reset him almost. We're going to set you to bodyguard, and theoretically that should work out pretty well for us. Sand is going to go grab a new body for the, yeah, for this here. Now, it would be cool when we chuck them in there if um, we do kind of get some of the materials back from them. That doesn't seem to be the case, but that that's okay. That's okay. I think it's all right. Man, that seems to be a really poor place um, because they want to run as close to the building as possible. So it doesn't exactly work out for us. Kitchy, what? why have we stopped? Oh, because you're on Dust Witch and you can't produce it. Okay, so I guess we can only have one on at a time. That's okay. We could just have a, a campfire set for doing dried meat once we start working on some other bits and pieces. Firebone, you're doing a good job here. Making some building materials for us. Actually, a whole heap of it, looks like. Nice. Very, very nice. Because we're going to need a lot more building materials to start producing light around here. Because during the day, it's good. But at night, yeah, it's pretty damn dark. Pretty damn dark. So... Let's have a look. We have our two mounted crossbows here. Now a lot of you have been wanting us to make like a, a sally port almost. So that we can move on out here and kind of lock in the enemy. And I think that's a great idea and it's something that I will look at doing. I think I'm going to have a look first of all and see exactly what we're going to need to be able to get um, these harpoon turrets up and running. They require copper iron plates unfortunately we just got rid of some copper we will get some back steel bars so we are going to have to start producing steel bars as well and we can see that these drain power okay but they do they do good damage they do really good damage um so i think i like the idea of having the two mounted crossbows and i think we're going to go for two of the harpoon turrets so ideally we'll be able to get them up and running before long but we'll see. We're going to need those steel bars. Alright. I'm going to have a little bit of a play around here. See if I can design a... Design the gate a little differently. And I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, so after some kind of semi-infuriating placing, this is how we're looking at this stage. Now, the gates aren't perfectly lined up with each other, and I think they're still going to work out okay. I think what's going to be best for us is actually if we have most of our mounted crossbows lined up along this way here. It means that they're going to be able to fire straight through this gate towards the others. So I think we're going to maybe even dismantle some of the, the ones that are up here. Maybe just have one and have the rest lined up along that side. So I'm going to go ahead and dismantle that harpoon turret construction we might even have a look at dismantling this one here you know what we've already got a built i think it's fine i think what i want to do is just add maybe another harpoon turret just over this side here so let's go ahead and do that looks like we're already trying to get that one in position at this stage good you don't have the building materials that's fine we are going to be missing those steel bars but we are going to be able to also do something about that 
Uh, so they're on their way up there. Oh, okay. Well, I guess this is good timing. I actually kind of just noticed now in the distance that we have some of Kral's Chosen charging towards us. Now, Kral's Chosen aren't anything to scoff at. It looks like it's going to be these three that are in danger at this stage. We're going to go ahead and put them onto their fastest run. And we need them to get back inside the walls. The same with our group out here. We're going to do the same thing. Make sure they're running back as fast as possible. We're going to turn jobs off for now, just so that there's no... I want to carry on with my job. We should be looking fine there. Okay, as for everyone else in here, we're going to do the same thing. Everyone's jobs are going to be turned off. Okay, we need to start getting some positions in. Oblim, let's get you on there. Low, we're going to get you on the other one. Firebone and Sand, let's see. Sand, we definitely want you to be here. Hong, we want you to be up on the other turret. And Hobbs, we're gonna do the same thing with you there, buddy. Now, let's cross our fingers. Actually, Hobbs, I lie. I didn't want you to be doing that. I wanted you to be carrying on towards the way station where you're actually gonna be safe. Let's see. We wanna make sure that none of them try to turn back at this point. Yep, they're carrying on, that's good. Flea Outsider, that's what your kind does best. Well, thanks, guys. Park, you're trying to stay close. Let's just get you to go back here, if possible. Looks like Ziff's going to make it back inside. Okay, so Rain... Looks like Rain and Orin aren't going to make it back. So what we're going to do with Rain and Orin is we're going to get them stealthing and get them to just come around the corner for now, if possible. It's going to be very touch and go. No, Ziff isn't going to make it either. So Ziff, we're going to get you to just hide around the corner for now, and we're going to get you ready to run out when the time arises. Okay, so Park, get back inside. We want everyone to be just holding down the fort here. We're gonna go ahead, defensive gate. We're gonna go ahead and close that door. Okay, Park, I, I can see what you're trying to do there. Just, just hold for now, buddy, hold. Sand is starting to try and construct the wall outside there, interesting. Glad that he can kind of semi do that. Firebone, we want you to be out the way. I mean that in the nicest way possible. And Kiji, same thing with you. Kiji's inside, that's good. We'll keep you there for now. We could get Kiji to continue on with their job, I think. But I think the less moving around, the better at this stage. Dog meat Spot and Hanbu, we need you to just be chilling out behind the wall for now. Okay, so Kral's Chosen are here. They're not going to muck around. We're gonna go ahead, get Obelim to shoot at. We're gonna get low to shoot at. Uh, you aren't using this right now, are you? There we go. Turret gunner. Okay, so you should theoretically be able to... Hmm, it's not working. I don't know why. As for Hong, turret gunner. Is it because your job's turned off? If I turn jobs back on and put you on this... Nope, it's not working. That's... <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's frightening. Uh, it's not working. So it seems that Obelum's one is the only one that's actually working right now. That's terrifying. That's absolutely terrifying. Okay, Ruka. You're being great and all, but we're going to need you over here at this stage. Yeah, because this, uh, this is going to fall very, very quickly. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to get some shots off here, but it does not seem to be the case. Um, Hong, I'm trying to get you involved with this just doesn't seem to be working. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I don't know if it was an angle thing or what. We're getting some shots off. Lowe still can't seem to be able to grasp this one. Okay. Ruka, hang down there for now. Firebone, you're as safe as you can be, I suppose. But I'd rather you be safer. Yeah, because you've got Bonnie with you as well. Okay, Bonnie, let's make sure that you're going to be on passive. Uh, the walls are going to fall, folks, so we need to be ready for it. Park, you're here. You're ready to you're ready to roll. We're actually going to drop your backpack on the ground. Are you encumbered at all? Let's see. Uh, no, you are not encumbered. Okay, that's good. Ruka, we're going to do the same thing. Drop that here. Encumbrance is at zero. That's good. Hanbu, drop that, buddy. Spot, you're at the ready. Uh, let's see, crafters, sand, let's get you down here. 
And I know I don't need to... It, this lowers his combat skills by a little bit, so I'd rather... Rather he be good. Good to go at this point. Uh, Firebone and Bonnie, they are having trouble getting inside. Okay, so we might need to change things around a little bit inside because um, they seem to be having trouble taking orders from us. And the wall is up. We can see that they have started to try and run to attack something else. Okay, let's just get Bonnie inside. I don't know if we actually can get Bonnie fully inside, but we're going to go ahead and close this door. It's going to be another level of protection. Um... Yeah, I can't tell what they're attacking there. I think they might actually, they might have been trying to attack the wall. Okay, Park is running in. Everyone's running in at this stage. I think we've done a little bit of damage here, but this is going to be, this is going to be messy, folks. And there's no two ways about it. Kral's Chosen are here, and we are going to do our best to fight them off. Park, we can see, is ready to go. His martial arts is ready to do some damage. Let's just hope we can do some of that damage. Any chance we're going to be able to get the others on? I actually, you know what? Lo is using a turret at the moment as well. So this could, this could be bad. Could be terribly bad. <laughs> Let's see if we can take down at least some of them here. Okay, we're getting a few good whacks. Dogby is getting absolutely whacked. Okay, that's fantastic. Now we bring in the reinforcements. We're going to take off Sneak. We need to make sure that none of you are actually wearing a backpack right now. Let's go put that here. And yes, you are going to be semi-encumbered here, but we're going to have to just live with it. Okay, now you three. We're going to go over to here. We've taken down one of them so far. We're going to go attack all. Go back to the, our crafters and just um, watch things unfold. Oh, so Obelum is under attack right now. Not so good. How about you go ahead and spin around? I don't think you can shoot at him, so let's just take you off that. Get you attacking, Kral's Chosen. Park is run up here to assist Oblum, being an absolute legend. Sand is chasing down one bloke that's up the top here that seems to be trying to go for the rest. It's messy. There's fighting happening everywhere. There's lots and lots of damage that we're seeing across the board, but the reinforcements are here. Ziff running in, starting to attack. Dogme getting a fantastic attack. Pa Park and Oberlin doing some work on the wall, but Park taking quite the strike there. Still looking like he's okay in terms of his health. Oberlin going to be going down soon, so Park trying to get a few of those hits in. Ruka is down, thrown to the ground, unconscious. The other starts running up trying to chase us down. Sand trying to stand his ground against this one here. We still have our crossbowers doing all they can to try and take down the ones that are outside. Reinforcements are here, but it might be... Well, it might be turning in favor of us as this one is getting completely ganged up on. All we need is a few good strikes and they'll be down. Come on. Nearly there. Spot trying to hold her ground against just one here. I'm going to put um, spot on block just to see if she has a chance to hold on that little bit longer here oh wow with that shot <laughs> fantastic work it was either low or hong got a brilliant crossbow shot there now i don't know if anyone is in danger of dying immediately but the attack is still on but we still have more of us standing than them and park finally won his little duel Oberlin went down, but Park is actually still looking really good. Sand, unfortunately, the same can't be said with him. Now, we do have our friend over here who's going to come and start causing troubles for, for both Hong and Lo. So we're going to get them off and ready and attack and all. Get in there, you two. Spot. Coming in to help. Dogmeat as well. Dogmeat's been an absolute MVP. Just the damage that uh, Dogmeat can do is fantastic. Uh, now, unfortunately, I don't think Park's going to be able to get in here. But let's see if Park is trying to clean up. And yes, indeed, Park is cleaning up. With Ziff down the bottom, they are trying to fight off this one over here. Let's see how they do. Come on, you two, you've got this. Just getting a good strike, Park. Good dodge, okay. Run back in if you can. Looks like Ziff is actually trying to attack Park there. Oh, nice, Ziff! Ziff with the whiff. Very nicely done. Okay, so we've nearly actually friggin' done this. Yes! We did it. We bloody did it. Holy crap, we bet Kral's chosen. So, they tried us. 
and they failed they failed big time okay so we've got some recovery to do that's obvious so let's go ahead we're going to be turning jobs back on everyone um and we need to make sure that uh the park is running around trying to heal as many people as he possibly can and that is going to be the case park is trying to rescue okay we've got lots of rescuing going on at this stage um Oh, 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 we got another one back up. This, there is going to be a bit of danger of this for a while because um, their, their, their toughness is so high that um, they will be able to recover relatively quickly. We can see we've just got this one Kral's Chosen standing up against all of us, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. All we need is one good hit in the right place. Come on, Hanbu's actually getting back up at this stage. Come on, team. Come on, team. Just one shot to the stomach will do it. There we go. That's what we need. Triumph indeed. Triumph is... Triumph is the word. Okay, so... Yeah. We need to make sure that people are recovering here. So Hanbu, we're going to get you to just go lay down over here for now next to our crippled mate. Um, Ziff, I know you're running off, but we're going to get you doing the same. Um, we're going to make sure that no one runs away at this point. Okay. We also need to make sure that no one's actually straight up dying other than these others so we have a few of them that are playing dead which is not good we don't want that to happen um, because if they get back up we know that they can do quite a bit of damage to us so we'll let them play dead for now so it looks like park is a little unsure as to what to do with spot so how about we just go ahead run up put spot in that bed ah damn it okay so there, there 100 is something going on with the entrance here um so the only thing that i can think of is these were the last two things that we added in i'm just gonna have to clear out some some room around the entrance here because um for whatever reason it seems to be uh making them upstairs so if we get rid of those two let's just see if that um gives them a chance to be able to do this and sure enough, yes, it looks like he is able to path there just fine. So we just need to make sure that we leave this area clean in, in the future. I'm going to push. I'm going to try and see how much I can get, you know. That's just how I do things. Park, operating machinery. Oh, buddy, no, that's uh, not what we want you to be... Oh, no, no, you're finding and rescuing. Okay, I think we actually want to put Medic above find and rescue because find and rescue is all good and well, but um, if they're dead before we rescue them... It's no good for no one. And it looks like someone has woken up and is causing some issues. It's the one that's up on the wall. Okay, so Park, being the awesome dude that you are, we're going to go ahead and send you in to go finish the sucker off. Oh, actually, there's more than one. Are they trying to retreat? No, they're trying to attack enemies. Okay, and they're still doing a fair amount of damage to us, as you can see. Um, Park, oh, he's going to go help Ruka. What a legend. I didn't even need to. Ruka's like, I can take care of myself, thank you. <laughs> of course you can of course you can um we're going out there to heal dog meat fantastic spot do you need to be going outside no you're gonna die so how about you just come rest here for now um we're getting them to rest just on the basic ones um because they need treatment semi-immediately uh Oren, let's get you hanging up the top here looks like spot actually ran away from where she <laughs> had been found and rescued to ruka you should you know you also need to be resting um hong you are actually okay overall but um yeah this is this is going to be a big time of recovery and i'm glad that these two have just jumped straight back into um recovering the gate here obelim definitely needs to get seen to soon and sand sand is working on engineering i feel like we actually do need to sp spread out our medic responsibilities a fair amount more um right now it is just park um we don't actually have that much in the way of medical supplies though so we need to look into that now we did send gary and he is aimless currently so that means that he made it there with hobbs that's great news Okay, Hobbs, yep, yeah, you're inside as well. Okay, let's get you both over here for now. Um, we want to make sure that we do some trading before the end of the day, but at the same time, we need to make sure that everyone is actually being recovered here. Now, Dogmeat might have some issues. Nope, you can run up and down the walls just fine. That's good. Okay, Sand. Recovering low. I actually no, that's not happening at the moment. Um, Park, let's check in. You should be medicking, and that you are. Okay, we still got two more free beds up the top here, so we should have Obelim um, put in one of those beds soon. I love that Park hasn't worried about healing himself, he's just worried about healing everyone else. Oh dear. Okay, 
this Kryle's Chosen was just waiting, just waiting. Um, Another thing for us to consider is that the Kryl's Chosen actually have pretty decent equipment. Um, not all of it we can use because it is actually faction gear, but some of it we can. Just just one kick, just one bloody kick. That's great. Dog meat helping finish them off here as well. Yeah, it means that any of the people that were just hanging about here, they're not going to be able to do too much. Lo, I appreciate that you're trying to help us out right now. Please tell me that you haven't run out. No, he's going to have more than enough to be able to, to get everyone healed up at this stage. We're going to dive back over here quickly and just do some uh, do some trading with Hobbs. First of all, going inside here. We'll let everything just load up. Just give it a second to get happy. I'm actually just going to chuck in a quick save. Just because, yeah, I, I don't want to lose that epic fight that we just had. I'm I'm so happy that it turned out that way. Honestly, I really didn't think it was. I thought it was gonna I thought it was gonna be rather bad for us. Let's trade. Okay, so fantastic. A lot of iron plates. I'd love to be able to purchase this them. Unfortunately, next to no fabric, so that's a small issue. We're gonna have to buy some cotton. Yes, yes. Okay, but first of all, we're gonna go ahead and sell all of this copper to you so that we can actually get way back up into ne nearly 20k um, so that's good right that's good um, any of these that we don't know um, advanced blueprint outposts I think we actually purchased that one already so let's go grab iron plates are we gonna grab all these iron plates we'll consider it um, yeah we, we want to be bringing back a fair bit of food as well. Um, do we want to buy some more cacti and some more wheat straw so we can actually start farming a little bit more fiercely outside of our gates potentially potentially but well it's not super it's, yeah it's actually kind of cheap so let's do that sure it's cheap enough from here oh uh, we could buy the one thing of leather i think for now actually we could buy these steel bars as well i can't remember how many we need it hmm. i think producing steel bars is going to be better for us because the price is actually quite high that's definitely worth it hands down definitely worth it okay so we're gonna go across and have a look and see what kind of food they have in here actually Hobbs has some things to sell too so that's also an option for us I, at least I believe he does let's trade uh, no he doesn't but oh wow he's got all the medical supplies <laughs> what a bastard uh, okay all right let's go we're gonna take are we gonna take all the bread hmm now we could actually make sandwiches with those but we're, we're not going to do that uh, we're just gonna pick up the dried meat Let's see, the food cubes are expensive. That's 8,000 just for all of those there. Um, I think it would be worth us getting some more basic first aid kits. They're really, really cheap. And I think we want to try and give one to pretty much everyone at this stage. And yeah, let's have a look. It's half the price. There, yeah, the nutrition is actually better from this overall. Nutrition per cost, I think. Um, how much are we getting from you? And it's the same price. Yeah, no, the uh, the, the meat wraps definitely give us a bit more. Um, so let's just take a few of those. We don't want to kind of go crazy with it. Okay, 10,000 cats. That's still enough for us to work with. Nice. Okay, I'm happy with that. We could buy some sleeping bags, but no, no, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, so Hobbs and Gary, let's go get you running back outside. Gary ate a meat wrap. Of course you did. <laughs> I don't blame you either. I don't blame you. Okay, and let's go ahead, roll in here. So what's that? Wolf Den 60. The worst of the Wolf Dens. Okay. Let's see how we're doing here, team. Looks like Sand's actually trying to rest now. Um, yep, yeah, that, that's that's fine. Um, Park is still medicking. He's going to be medicking all day, all night. <clears throat> so I think Firebone and Kidgy, it would be good for us to get them to be medics because they're not going to be fighting very often, so... It's going to be worthwhile making sure that they can assist us. Um, Obelum, I don't know if we have a, a free bed for you. You know we do, we do. So as soon as as soon as Parker's done medicking, he is going to actually properly rescue you. Stay close to Hanbu. Oh, you are staying close to Hanbu. Look at that. Oh, you're a good dog. Such a good dog who does amazing damage. I don't like the looks of this. Of the food cube? Why don't you like the looks of the food cube park? <laughs> I guess you don't know what's in it. 
but I tell you what, I do like the looks of all of those Kral's Chosen just dead on the ground. That, that is brilliant. I also like the amount of sand that we have and dust that we have on the machinery out here. It is different um, depending where you actually place things. So that's, that's quite cool. Um, okay, so I think at this stage, we, we're in recovery mode. Um, which I'm, which I'm happy about. Lo, you're helping get that gate constructed. I think having this extra gate here will help a lot. I mean, obviously they smash through them pretty quickly, but um, just that little bit, I think will help. I think there's actually a chance that we can get an arc on them from here as well. So we should be able to get a few attacks shooting at them as they're trying to get in. And then as they smash through this one, they got to stand out here and, and deal with that still. Um, the other option is for us to just let them in close the gate behind them and then they have no way to get away so if we have enemies that are like that then that could actually help us um, or we could just let a few of them in close the gate and then run out attack those ones and then just kind of control numbers that way at least that's kind of the idea that i'm going with we'll see if it we'll see if it works out i have no idea if it will or it won't um but what we kind of need to put on our agenda of things to do is looting we need to uh, go through and pick them up oh oh sand has just fallen unconscious oh okay <laughs> so sand was running around trying to help by um, producing things and uh, didn't work out too well for him um, turns out that uh, yeah he, he was bleeding out still uh, so low it seems is under attack from someone or something Oh, it's a skin spider. Oh, shoot. Is it just one skin spider? Okay. Well, that's not great timing. Hmm. Yeah, that's really not good timing. Okay, so Lo, run back inside the walls. Have the walls been repaired? They have been repaired. That's good. Get back inside, and we're going to close the gate. Okay. All right, Lo, I want to get you up on here. Kidgy and Firebone will do the will do the same thing with you. Um, they have no skill with turrets right now, but uh, they're going to be better than having no one down here. And Park, we're going to get you ready at the gate just in case um, the skin spider does decide to try and cause some issues for us. Uh, Lo, can I get you up on one of these, please? Okay, standing still. So she turret gunner aimless standing still so it doesn't seem to to work out so well these these bloody crossbows um for whatever reason so it's just the one attacking the gate i feel like we should be able to deal with that hog we definitely want to get you up on one of these the ones over here seem to be working fine these ones here not so much um oh that's the worst timing ever guys yeah hong is not able to use them. That's frustrating. Come on, team. All right, nicely done. Just one good strike was enough to do it. Let's go ahead and open the gate. Get you two off of there for now. Nicely done, team, nicely done. Uh, but we wanna make sure that we actually do go pick up from it. So Park, if you could just make sure it stays dead. And you're engineering on the gate right now. Good work, my dudes. Ah, look at these two just sneaking along. All right, sneak along inside if you could. You'd be so kind. We'll get all those materials dropped off. Successful episode. Even though, yes, many of us are lying in bed in pain, in recovery, that I mark as a success, a great success. Now, Gary, let's see. Um, Food barrel first. We'll go ahead and drop off all of the food. Okay, next up we got our wheat straw and other bits and pieces. Now we didn't actually get somewhere to store those. I think we're going to go with the idea of storing them outside now. It's just going to be easier for us because it's going to be right next to where we need to utilize them. So I think that should be fine. Now cotton, we can just go straight into turning that into something. Can we fit another one there? Looks like we can. Brilliant. Okay, we need to make sure that we actually get someone working on one of those. Yes, and iron plates. <clears throat> Go stash all of those for now. So we need to remember that we still need to divvy out the first aid and we still need to do something about the resources. So I'm going to go ahead and get those things placed. Okay, they should be able to fit perfectly fine out there. They're out the way. 
Yeah. It'll work. The only thing, it'll, it'll get a little irritating when we actually have our farms out the back here. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to add another gate, because that's another point that enemies can come up and attack us from. Um, so I think we're just going to have to go with them, taking a little bit longer to run things around. I think it should be fine. We'll figure out if it's going to be an issue later on. So things things will have ground to a little bit of a halt here. Um, not too bad, as obviously we don't have many people that are actually working right now. But um, that'll change. And hey, look at that. We've got the ability to put some stuff in some things. Great. Okay, and wheat straw storage. Once we have enough wheat straw, we might look at getting to brewing again, but um, primarily we're going to be focusing on trying to become self-sufficient by making our own food. That's going to mean making um, bread and then using the cacti to make a dust witch, um, which is a cacti sandwich. Delicious, right? Yes, everyone ran out resoundedly said. Um, looks like we have been hauling water over here okay, and night is arriving. Low, I think, has been getting back to construction outside of here. Park is trying to continue on with this. It's a lot of building materials to be able to make the gates. Um, the walls, not so much. We, so we should have enough in our storage to be able to get that going. Yeah, we've even got some sticking there. Oblum has jumped back up and is trying to get back to work. Okay, um, I feel like with zero stomach you should probably still be resting up for a little bit longer. It seems to be when someone comes out of recovery coma, they just want to get up right away. Um, so I think sand's going to be there for a while. Um, rain's actually good to go. You can get back to work. Um, and Ruka's actually looking pretty good as well. So Ruka, you can hop to it. Which means that we can get the ones who are outside here that uh, need that little bit of extra layabout time. Can get it. Let's get Spot up here. Uh, and sand is, Sand's decided now that he wants to get back up. Buddy, get back in bed. Come on. Don't be silly. You got zero chest. Someone could sneeze at you and you'd fall over. I mean, yes, his chest is zero, but his chest is obviously a lot higher than zero. He's got a freaking giant chest. He does indeed. Uh, wall short has been finished. And that it has. That it has. Now, can we... Ooh, I wonder if we can... No, I don't think we can cross there. Um, that's a shame. I didn't I didn't think we were going to be able to, but um, I thought for a second just looking at it, I was like, oh, looks like they've actually insected and we can do something about that, but we can't. It's okay. It is fine. Uh, who knows, there could be a chance that you could actually um, path out, but yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna stress about that. Rain, you're working hard, you're doing a good job. Um, what's your efficiency like here? Efficiency is 40% because the number of workers, so that's good. Iron quality is 100%. So we're going to see a lot of that um, wall completed, just because the walls don't take us anywhere near as long to make, and we've got a lot of people working on them. I think that's going to give us the extra protection that we need. Something that we could potentially look into creating now... Oh, Ruka, do you have to work over there? I guess this is why, like, general light is better than just what we have here, which is this one specific light. So I'm going to dismantle that. We're going to get rid of that for now. And I think we're going to have, like, a general spotlight on the side of the building here, which should light up this and that at the same time. Um, lights. And we want to put maybe a, a spotlight or a searchlight. Searchlight, powerful searchlight for external use only. I think the searchlight's going to be... Hmm... I wonder what's going to be more broad. Because the spotlight, obviously, it's a spot. So, so it's not very broad. Um, searchlight uses 8 power. Let's see what the searchlight's like. I think it might be way too intense throughout the back here, but I mean, there's only one way to find out, right? Um, so it uses two electrical components. Those electrical, com electrical components we actually have, or rather, Hobbs had. And they're in our general storage. So I, I hope that someone would go and pick those up. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Um, that is a proper wall. It might not look like it. But um, it, they can't get through there. They can't get through there. Getting these things to line up and, and actually work isn't the easiest thing in the world. It takes quite a bit to be able to get that. And I think that's the gate complete. 
yeah, I think Lowe's working on that now. Brilliant. So we have ourselves that. Okay. Now comes the long process. Before these people actually die, we want to make sure that we're taking their belongings. So who has the biggest inventory here? Gary, you have the biggest inventory here. So Gary, I want you to go around all the bodies. Oh, you can't search, bugger. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, that's unfortunate. Um, I think actually, I think it's Oren. Yeah, Oren has the biggest backpack, but Oren... Okay, we've actually taken your other bits and pieces out of your inventory, that's good. You've rested long enough, Oren. We're gonna get you up and about. Let's see what these suckers actually have on them. So that's, um, that's a bandit who's been here for a very long time. This berserker, who I think is, oh, is actually dying now. Um, but he hasn't been able to move for a very, very long time. Um, so, looking at them. We have planks, which they sell for a decent amount. Um, the Zukin over here doesn't sell for as much. Um, we're looking at sell value of 38 here, yeah, so that's a no-no. Um, even the ninja rags here, not gonna sell for much. Drifters leather pants, sell value, average, super freaking average. The samurai boots, same thing there. So really, they don't sell for that much at all. I wouldn't mind being able to tear up um, the cloth shirts and stuff like that, for example. I might have a look to see if there is a mod which will actually allow us to do that so we can tear them up and get fabric from them that way. Uh, we can melt down some items to be able to get some other materials from, but um, I would like to be able to maybe tear up some of these because right now all that we can really get from these berserkers is their blades and that's really about it um but they're definitely worth it though because they are they're, they're decent decent planks um that is i believe park's backpack yes it is so let's go grab your wooden backpack there park um Oren, i am going to come back to you don't you worry we're not we're not forgetting about you um we need to make sure that we're going through all of our fallen here park You've got your backpack. Great. Oren, we're going to continue on for a little bit here. Take that. And look at that. They actually have some healing stuff on them. Did we have any fall over this side? I feel like we did, but we might have incinerated them already. That's what I'm insinuating. Okay. What about you? Now, I did see some of them uh, with... I think they had chain shirts on. I'm pretty sure they did. So... I'll be intrigued about that. Um, yeah, we're not likely to give any of our folks um, samurai boots at this stage. They're not quite um, good enough fighters. The combat speed reduction isn't terrible. It's actually not affecting your combat ability, but um, yeah, that speed reduction. I think it's something that we don't need right now. Okay, a lot of planks. And I guess we didn't even need to buy those materials in the end. Okay, so, oh, is that our snake friend? I think it is. No, 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 our snake friend, I think, made it away. Just slithered away into the distance. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, they probably have, they're probably starved to death by now. Um, so, yeah, unfortunate for them. Let's, let's have a look inside here. We're going to go to our weapons cabinet. Um... We're going to go ahead and see if we can store some more of them. And that's all that we can store, apparently. Yep, that's a lot. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to get Oren to go ahead and trade with Gary. Because Gary, you're going to sell these blades. Now, we could give these planks to our... To our Sheik characters. Because um, the Sheik, they do quite well with long blades like that. And actually, no, I think it's more sabers that they do better with. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. I don't know where I can see that right off the top of my head, but I think it's Sabres that they get a bonus with. Actually, well, we can we can see that right here. Um, if we go into Oren's inventory, and then if we have a look at Sabres... Um, actually, I can't see that there. So, yeah, you can see Racial XP. Melee attack goes up. Uh, I can't see any racial XP changing on those, so, yeah. But I think just in general, they do seem to do better with, um, larger weapons. Uh, we actually have a horse chopper on Oren already, but, um, some of the others we might want to have a look at, um, maybe swapping out some weapons here. Taking a fragment axe, because the blood damage from a frag fragment axe is insane. Um, and we're actually not getting a attack penalty on that, so... 
that would be that would be great I would love that so yeah Ruka we're gonna go ahead and roll with you rocking that fragment axe um rain has the giant moon cleaver which i'm also cool with that rain i don't think you're anywhere close to here right now but i'll be intrigued to see if you can trade at the distance that you are um out of trading range yeah not surprising you to open your backpack uh who else do we have ziff yep ziff we could look at that although i think are you unconscious right now not sure you have some more of these electronic materials which we can trade so theoretically that should mean that we can go ahead and give you something from here a fragment axe perhaps yeah the uh, the damage on on that fragment axe specifically is 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 very good it's very good so they're going to be a little bit slow with those but uh they're going to be able to really throw some punches oblum we've got you rocking the turrets for us um, and Hong, you are our crossbower. Although, in saying that, we can get you decked out with a much, 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 much better crossbow. Um, something from back home, actually. Yeah, we still have all those really nice crossbows sitting at home. But um, I'm happy with that. And with that, boom! That's our walls constructed. Look at that. An extension to the Millennium Falcon. The sand pit has grown slightly. Um, I'd love to see what this light looks like before the end of today. We'll see if we're able to do that. Kitchy is currently aimless. Um, do we have any more raw meat? I feel like we do. We have a lot more raw meat in here. Hmm. I think we have enough meat of our own to sacrifice the, the stuff that's there. So I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that for the time being. Hey, look at this. Lo is getting the first harvest in great time left to harvest 58 hours so yeah it probably would be good maybe if we had sand help out with the harvest when when it is harvest time uh would take him away from armor crafting though is the only thing hmm i mean just because he's good at farming i don't think means that he should be farming you know what are you doing sand oh you're disposing of those corpses of course you are buddy of course you are um we need to get someone on here and I'm not sure who I want to do that. We could get Kitchy, maybe. Because Kitchy isn't always going to be doing things. Firebone's going to be busy. So yeah, Kitchy, let's um, let's get you helping out with both of those. Yeah. Brilliant. And we'll put Engineer above all of those. Look at you go, making fabric. Now, it, unfortunately, it is it is still dark inside. That's something that we can easily rectify, something that we haven't done yet. We've been very bad to our, our folks who are inside. Um, it's, this literally just requires iron plates. So we want to make sure that it's, um, it's pretty light in here. So we'll just go through in each of these sections. We definitely want it to be light down here as well. And we're probably going to need another one in the middle here. So, we'll see what that looks like once it's all lit up. And, let's see. We're still waiting on some electrical components for this, so we're going to do a little cheat for that. We're going to get Hobbs. So, we're going to go to our crafters. We're going to grab Hobbs, and we're just going to give him some electrical materials, just so he can do that. Um, he only needs two. Look at that. Voila, we have light. And let's get you working on that searchlight outside. So, we'll try and keep a, you know, an awareness of what our power is like overall. I think that's our draw, like how much we need and how much we're currently bringing in. So, we have more than enough right now. Some of you have also been telling me that these smaller versions of these are more efficient in low wind speed areas. We seem to have a fair bit of wind going through here. There's always dust storms and other things going on. And just like that, our searchlight is complete as well. So, we should see that flick on just as the, uh, the evening arrives. Now... Ah, that wow okay um that's 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 too intense <laughs> it's way too intense um cool but just too intense i think i think and here's my one well, kind of thing i'm thinking the um not the post but rather the light post will probably be better uh, we can probably put them in between the two here and they should it should light things up sufficiently for us um yeah uh, the only thing that sucks about inside here is that obviously it's a lot brighter right on that spot here not as bright down the end but 
Looks like our light coverage inside is pretty good. Not bad, team. Not bad. How's the resting going up top? Spot, you're fine to go back to work. Hanbu, same with you. Oblum, same with you. Everyone, get back to work. Doing what you're doing. Lots of construction. Actually, that should be the last bit of construction that we're doing. Let's see. One electrical component. Okay, well, we're probably going to need to grab Hobbs again to do a specific, uh, specific pickup on that. So let's just grab his inventory. Just grab one. There you go. You got what it takes now, bud. I think they were actually running up to go grab some. Um, quite possibly. Wow. <laughs> you all ran all the way over here? Oh, I guess because that's where the electrical components dropped after the, the light went down. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty bright. So I think as long as whoever's working on here, Ruka specifically, yep, is working on that side, we should be fine when it comes to light. Efficiency is 100%. Great. Hobbs, I love your work, buddy. You've been doing fantastic, fantastic stuff for us. Let's go get some more light over here as well. We're going to go put down another electrical torch post. Electrical light post, rather. And we'll go ahead and place it down around about here. That's a map. What am I doing? Yeah, because we don't want it to be absolutely blinding them, but um, it'll give them some light. We could maybe get away with placing it here, but I doubt it'll actually spread around enough. I feel like placing it here, so we'll see if it'll work or not. We'll find out one way or the other. Low, the harvest is still ongoing. Number of plants. Let's see. 13 cacti, 13 wheat straw. So this is this is going to be like our incubation pod, almost. We're going to have the much larger fields outside. We'll see if that works out for us. Lots of, lots and lots of activity happening outside. Aaron running back in. I'm glad that this is working out okay as well. They seem to be able to path through here just fine. I also love just the little isolated pockets of light and so close we just need that one electrical component so they're all going to race each other there to see who can make it first to grab it they're on their way hog maximum efficiency brilliant okay um oh dear they're all going to be having a hard time now because you see how they're they're all around each other <laughs> Run back outside. Firebone, did you manage to get that electrical component? No, you didn't. Ah, oh, it might actually be in a position where we can't grab it. Yep, I don't think we can get it. Oh no, that's uh, that's not good. And you're actually stuck in here right now. I think you're stuck in here because the others are kind of keeping you trapped. Oh yikes, this isn't good. Okay, well Hobbs... Hobbs, we know we can semi-rectify this by going and grabbing those. Now just jump to work if you can, my dude. And then <laughs> that should release everyone from here, from the mosh pit that's happening in the corner. Adding materials. As soon as he's done adding materials, they should. Yeah, there they go. They're off, they're off. So many of them in one place. Look at them go. And wham, bam. Uh, maximum efficiency, okay, only 80%. I think it's, it could be because of light. I won't know 100% though. Operating machine, laboring, working in darkness. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Kitchi, what are you doing at the moment? You're laboring as well. How? Interesting. Uh, no, we, we are going to have to dismantle this. It, it was an okay place for us to have it, but um, no, we can do we can do better than that. So we'll go ahead and put a uh, light post right about here, just so it lights up the whole area. Um, there is building materials on the ground, so I'm gonna hope. And Hobbs has them in his inventory, so we should we should be fine. Uh, they're trying to finish off the harpoon turrets, but we're not going to be able to do those just yet. Hanbu dog meat heading back outside. Very good. Very good. Oberlin working here by yourself right now. 
Nice. Do we have stone? No, we are going to need somewhere to put stones because I don't think we can make, um... Yeah, I don't think we can make building material fast enough. Although, what's the limits of what we can put into here? I guess we'll find that out, won't we? Yeah. All right, everybody run around. Um, now, I'm, I'm intrigued because I, I'm of the mindset that I think we can actually grab this if we're outside. So I might try and see if I can just steal sand and get him to come outside here and see if we can grab these materials because he should be close enough to be able to get them. Let's have a look, eh? Um, yes, he is. Okay. So we'll get him to grab them just so that there isn't any trouble in the future there. Alright. Grab it. Okay. I think he has to go inside to get that. But at least uh, that kind of semi works for us. Where are they going to get their own plates? Are they going over here? Oh no, hey, he got it, he got it. Yay. <laughs> the mosh pit can finally bloody end. Ah, oh dear. Yeah. I mean, we're risking things by trying to maximize as much space as possible, but eh, it could be worse. Ziff, that's right, you're running around with your, um, your own little light source on. Okay, well, we're going to be wrapping things up in a moment in a slightly longer episode here. Oh, we have the potential to get ourselves some meat, though. That's definitely tempting, and it's something I think that we are going to do. We're going to start by closing down this door. And we're actually going to use... Let's see. Are we going to be able to get away with using Hong with her crossbow from up on the wall? I want to see if that's possible. We're going to go ahead and close this door as well. We could always have a look at getting turrets out here, can't we? Attack and provoked. Uh, we're going to put you on ranged. Let's see if I can get you to, to get a shot off here. Or not. Hmm. I, th I think she's trying. Yep. Get their attention if you can. Uh, maybe they're too far away. She doesn't actually be able, seem to be able to take a shot. Shooting. Nope. Nope. But that's a whole lot of free meat that we don't want to, um, pass up, really. Hmm. Decent attack, decent defense. All we need to do is just lure them up to the walls. Well, we can do that. Let's make sure that we get Hong onto one that she can actually shoot on. Okay. All right, going back to here, we're going to get low, we're going to get Oblum, and let's see, who else do we want to be on the walls? Hobbs, you've been okay in the past. Let's get you moving up here. Hopefully, we can get you engaging on these. It doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, so Oblum could get onto that one. Maybe it's just that one that has issues for whatever reason. Yeah, I know, but I think low should be heading out now. Just jump up there. Okay. We're going to have to get this door open, and then the other. Now, Park, you're going to be the one that uh, essentially aggros them. Okay, all others just need to stealth and stay still for now. This is where it's going to get interesting. I think Sand's trying to go out for some reason. Attack unprovoked. Here we go. Final encounter of the day. All right, here comes Park. He's leading them back. Sand, stay. Ruka, also stay. Okay, Park grabbed in there as well. Oh, damn. I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit more to, to get them to engage. Yeah, they've kind of given up at that point. Attack and provoked again. I think Dogmeat's trying to get involved. When she shouldn't. Same with everyone else. Stop trying to be helpful. Okay, Park's back inside. Good. Close the gate. Now, I don't know if they're going to keep on attacking. I'm not sure about that. Okay, go ahead and close this door. 
Let's see. Can we attack them from here, from this position? It's it's a decent ways away. Oh, they're trying to eat them. Right. Shoot at Bone Dog. Uh, yep. Apparently we can. Low. Shoot at Bone Dog. Hold. Shoot at Bone Dog. Now this is the real question. Are we going to be able to fire at them from here? Oh yes, we can. Oh, nice, and we got a hit. Um, that bone dog just somehow teleported through the gate. Cool. Lo, are you able to shoot? Nice, good hit. 96. Okay, so we're, we're definitely going to be able to do some damage to them from, from back here. 101. Yep. Taking some damage. Oh, Oren. Oh, bad timing, Oren. Bad timing. You're actually already wounded. I don't remember seeing you. <laughs> Spot, just stay back over here as well for now. Thank you. Jobs off. Jobs off for everyone outside. Oren, unfortunately, is going to be leading people away. Dogmeat. Dogmeat's just going to run and try and uh, help. <laughs> so, it was going really good. But... I have to remember to keep my eye on the others out here. Okay, first gate is down. Oren's going to be down in a second. Dog meat. I don't think I'm going to be able to stop you at this stage. I can. Good. Run back. Spot, run back. We've got one that's retreating completely. Looks like they're semi trying to continue on in here. Oren, you're going to be okay. I know it doesn't seem like it right now, but believe me, you are. Hong and Lo have decided to go away, which that I disagree with. Now is the time to stay, seeing as you just managed to own another one of them. Yeah, they're still trying to move in. Oblum is, yep, taking a shot. What are these three going to do? They're committing crimes. They're crime wolves. They don't seem to want to run straight in at this point. They're confused as to what they want to do. And you know what? That's working out for us. Although the only thing is we need to get someone to Oren sooner rather than later. Oren has a whole heap of um, kits on her. So let's just go send Spot stealthing over. Uh, we have a, we have one of these bastards just chilling out here. Let's go send Dogme to attack it. Attack Bone Dog. Spot, I would like for you to go around so me you should be able to own. There we go. And you do just that. Good dog. Good dog, dog meat. I think we should be able to clean up the rest of them that are here. There's four of them. Actually, in saying that, four bone dogs all together can be quite a issue for us. Let's go ahead and start sneaking as we get closer. Those shots are still doing damage. We've got one that's making their way in a bit further. 100, 99, very nice. Okay, we're going to do some stealth medicking here. Go ahead and trade. All right. Let's see. Spot, we're going to go ahead and grab one of those. And we're going to get you on medic, thank you. Okay. Mmm, sun's starting to rise. That's not so good for us. Well, actually, I think it might make our targets a little easier to hit, although I don't think we've been missing all that much. As you can see, they've got um, they've got a lot of uh, a lot of shots in them. We might be able to pick up, or rather pick off some of the others with uh, with dog meat. 116. Yeah, I mean they're they're definitely feeling it here. They don't seem to be going for our second gate and it might be because they're just the way that the animal kind of AI works possible I don't know for certain but we've got them bleeding out a fair amount spot spot looks like <laughs> she's trying to jump back in here we're going to try and get spot out of here if possible and then we're going to open the gates and let the others do their work do what they do okay Let's see, Sand, are you around? You are. Okay, Ruka, where are you? We're back here. 
Okay, let's get the three of you at the front. Ready to do what needs to be done. Open the gates. And attack all. Um, so attack all doesn't always work. Sometimes you just need to go attack target. There we go. And they're off. Okay, so Park, let's go get that backpack off you. Um, build the material down, my buddy. Okay, Ruka's fine. Sand should actually be okay with what he's got right now. Hobbs, you aren't using any weapon right now. I would much rather you potentially go ranged at this point, my dude. As soon as you've got the ability to do it, so stand a little bit further back. Um, oh, bloody hell, Hobbs. Of course, one's just going to make it past and go straight for Hobbs. And Gary. Gary? Gary doing some work. Okay. And just like that, the harvest has finished. Ruka with a good strike. A lot slower, you can see, with those. But um, all in all, successful. Now, I'm going to be going and making sure that everyone is actually going to be medicking, taking care of each other, and repairing things where we need to. But for now, we have survived another day in the world of Kenshi, and we've expanded our production even further. We're back to making things, which is a big deal. And we haven't lost anyone in the process. This doesn't look so good. Um, it's okay, Oren. It's it's gonna be alright. You're gonna be fine. Believe me, it's alright. We do have one other lone, lone dog that's gonna try and cause us some trouble, but I think as soon as it gets close, it's just gonna find that we let it just walk on past with no issue. But Gary's not having that. Gary's gonna collapse onto the ground. <laughs> in protest yes uh firebone as you can see is going straight into harvesting these creatures which is great exactly what we want everything's working as intended and guys and gals that's where we're going to be finishing today's episode thank you for joining me in the sand pit we had some challenges today but we overcame all of them i'm going to be doing some more tweaking behind the scenes making sure that we have those medical supplies uh spread among the others here making sure that everyone is good to go and we're going to be taking care of each other i think that was sand actually running picking up another body for the furnace incinerating yeah yeah you do that buddy i've been rykon you have all been awesome and until next time stay tuned Thank you all for joining me for another episode of Kenshi. If you don't know it already, you can pick up the very first piece of Rikon Roleplay's merchandise featuring Leonidas Aventus, the Dragonborn himself. There will be more items added to the store in the coming months, all available at rikonroleplays.com slash store. And finally, I'd like to extend a great big thank you to the patrons who continue to make this content possible.